most injuries today. Kirkwood into the center circle. Adelican's back tap reeled in, and we're underway tonight in Hanover. Everybody has played or who were scheduled to play today. We're the one night game in the league. The uh, Cornell and Columbia games were postponed today because of the winter storm, Izzy. And uh, they get the bucket. Good at play. A lot of foot movement from Adelaikum. Adelaikum looked pretty big against catchings in the post. Now Dartman sets up defensively. They'll go low. Catchings will kick it back out. Harvard nine and five, one and one in the league. Kirkwood with a fall away. He, he, does, he does everything. He has a complete game. Three driving it, post ups falling away. Great rebounder, can pass the ball. Maybe the best player in the Ivy League. Brendan Barry for the big green. Knocking on the door to a thousand points in a big green uniform. This goes an offensive foul. It was a charge. Adelaikum, he faked the handoff, drove to the rim. Catching was there, great position. First uh, foul on either squad in the game goes to Dame. Junior out of Gastonia, North Carolina. And so the Crimson, and yes, they're in red. Dartmouth in the white with a green trim here in Hanover. Distributes around, Wojcik to the free throw line. Back corner. Stops and pops off of the pass. Kirkwood with a miss. Backside rebound for Aaron Rye. And now Samuels with a pull. That was a nice Good move play. to get free. Good play. Came off the ball screen. Harvard gave no help. Pulled up, landed on two. Nice play. The green early with a 4-2 lead. Catchings looking for the answer. Doesn't get it. Nice Come contest by Adelaikum. Come back the other way. Dartmouth four and ten, one and two in Ivy play. Uh, the win was the home Ivy game that they played against Brown. Oh, what a pass oh, by Rye! Finds play. a Delican. Good dive by a Delican. Good look by Rye. Oh, Jake the other way for the Crimson. Sakota, the Canadian, back over to Kirkwood. Takes on Wade, kicks it back out and around, and Sakota's three-pointer yeah, goes down. One more. With some of start, Harvard starters out, Sakota's looking to score more. He had 18 at Columbia. Luke is the leading three-point shooter on Harvard. He's made 28 of them this year. Harvard is a team, 34.7 from behind the circle. Dartmouth a little bit better than that. Got the prolific Brendan Barry shooting threes. Samuels, we're down to seven on the clock. We'll feed a Delican and lost the handle. Just underway, lead arena in Hanover. Game closed to the general public. Sakota comes back to Lesman. Far side is Kirkwood. He'll be picked up by Barry in the man to man. Lesman now with a three. That's what he does. That's what he does. That was off a of fade screen, but he is definitely a stationary shooter number one. Must be marked, must be checked early. He has 25 three-pointers, so we've seen the two leading three shooters on the Crimson get under the books here in this uh, first segment of the game. Lesman is a physically impressive looking freshman. Rye, nothing there. Down to five, Wade with four. Wade will drive, and with a right hand, he fills it. Late shot clock, they went to Wade in an isolation. He delivered Harvard right back. Cam Kristoyak now will come out onto the floor. A good start for Dame Adelican. For Coach McLaughlin, he's got a couple of field goals early on. He'll go to the bench here. As Samuels leads Dartmouth into the front court in an 8-8 game. Barry hounded by Sakota. Brendan comes back to Rye. Aaron spins his way in. That's a good look good and look. two points. Good luck. Taking it right at Kirkwood. Dartmouth very, very impressive, very effective on dribble penetration so far. Rye averaging a dozen points per game. Teams have scored some points on Harvard. 70 a game they give up. 
In the corner, another shot, three down, fourth. Averaging 8.2 per game, 2.3 rebounds. Only been to the line three times all year. That one goes in, he's three out of four, and a seven point start for Louis Lesmond. A couple of threes. Wojcik Karras and Samuels in the backcourt. Dartmouth in denial. Wojcik locking him up a little bit here. Torres missed a couple of games back with the big green at Penn on Saturday. This is second consecutive start. Barry and he'll pull up and that one comes up short and that was last touched by the big green. Yeah, Silverstein did a nice job. Jumped out on, this, on the screen, had Barry in a switch. Barry came up short on his attempt. You mentioned 20, Sam Silverstein, sophomore into the game for Harvard. Evan Nelson, a first year player. Yeah, and it's only his second game in his career. His first game was at Columbia. He came off the bench for nine points. We see freshman Ryan Cornish, number 10, out on the defense here. His first action of the game for the Big Green. Dartmouth trails 12-10, first segment of the game. This uh, jumper on the way, good. Yeah. And Silverstein too, for two. Too easy. Dartmouth heads the side ball screen. They drag the guy away, the defender away. Silverstein was wide open from three. Harvard off the 91 point performance in the win against Columbia on Saturday, their highest scoring total against the Division I team this year. Samuels flashes in the lane. Yeah, he rushed that one a little bit. The space was there. Kirkwood the other way, distributes back. Nelson, the first year player from Tucson, Arizona. Coach Amica wants the ball moving. It's starting to swing. Kirkwood, jumper, right side, Nelson, good that's, for two. That's what he did the other day at Columbia. His first game as a college player, he bangs his first two threes. It's an eight nothing run for the Crimson and they lead here. Inside Barry, blocked and out of bounds. Through the foul, I think, Sakota. Sakota on the foul for Harvard. You had that right, coach. Barry on the uh, baseline. Cornell inside. No. But it'll be another foul on Harvard and this one on Evan Nelson. Yeah, Cornish was aggressive. He did a spin dribble in traffic. Lucky to get away with it, but drew the foul on Nelson. 17-10, Harvard in front. Ryan Cornish they takes care it. of the sneaker. Yeah, they need his scoring. He's had a good year, 7.9 a game coming into play today. Freshman from Potomac, Maryland. And Cornish puts his first point on the board here. First of two meetings between Dartmouth and Harvard. Teams are scheduled to conclude the regular season against one another down in Cambridge March 5th before Harvard hosts the 2022 Ivy League Tournament. 17-12. Dartmouth trails by five. Back out, Sakota. Really traveled with it, and here's Lamont again, and Lesmond, rather, and that is uh, he's, no good. He's not shy, and he's taken three tough shots. Two of them have dropped, and that was down. See if Dartmouth can get an answer after getting the stop. Kristoliak up top guarded by Silverstein. Harvard in the active man-to-man. -man. Tough shot baseline, doesn't go for Cornish. Yeah, no rebounding from Dartmouth at all. Everybody getting back. Far side is his field goal, a pointer. 
Spin move inside by Josh Hemmings, and it's taken away by Barry, and we welcome those of you who are watching Yale and Brown on Nesson to coverage from Lead Arena in Hanover, where Dartmouth and Harvard are underway today. Yale won that game 66-63. It's been a busy day on Nesson for Ivy League basketball, and great to be the fourth and final of the games for you. I'm Bob Lipman, Coach Dave Fosher is right alongside tonight. Ben Myers and his crew producing here. Shot up and good, and we're getting a lot. Yeah, not known. First, first not, year, Louis Lesman. He's not known for going to the rim. He's known more as a shooter, but he sure looked aggressive on that one. Harvard, which leads the league in steals. Nobody is close to him. Just got another one in the last possession. Harvard is on an 11-2 run here. And they've opened up a seven point. Must take care of the basketball to have a chance. Surprise, Dartmouth's not tried a three yet? See, see how, how, they, how hard they play in the perimeter? They force you to get to the rim. And they're contesting passes. There's your three. three. And it's good. And it makes it. That was a contested three. He did a little jab fake and took the shot right over the defender. Badly needed at this point. 17 three-pointer of the year for Ryan Cornish and Noah Kirkwood yeah. with a reverse layup he, and a pretty play. He used a gear we haven't seen. He blew right by Ryan that one. Cornish going again. Three more. He's up to eight coming off the bench. That's what they needed. They needed an offensive burst. They needed to ride somebody with a hot hand and in comes Cornish. 21-18 oh. Cornish, Cornish now ankle. down with an ankle. They'll kick it back outside, and the jumper good, a three-point. Harvard, Harvard playing with a freshman backcourt right now with Wojcik and um, Nelson. Yeah, so then in the end, in Lesman, they've used three freshmen here quite a bit in the early going. They're up by six points on the road with three freshmen. That's impressive. All right, Wade and Adelican, Slackert, Barry, Robinson. The five on the floor right now for the big green. Brendan Barry, three points away from 1,000 in a Dartmouth uniform. He'd already gone over 1,000 in his career because he uh, returned to the Big Green this year as a grad student. Robinson into the double team. This is a lot more like the Harvard defense I'm used to. And Kirkwood all the way down will get fouled by Wade. That was a pretty good recovery by Wade. He got a lot of the ball. He probably fouled him as well, but it was great hustle to stop the layup. It'll be two shots for Kirkwood. Did he get all ball? Let's take a look. Looks like their shoulders collided a little bit. Well, then that's a foul. I haven't missed a call in a long time, Bob. Here's Kirkwood, good. Early going, uh, Lesman with nine for Harvard. Kirkwood has eight. And here is Lesman again to replace Sam Silverstein. Noah Kirkwood and uh, Kale Catchings, two starters for Harvard are seniors. But it is a young squad. Yeah. Kirk Kirkwood's also 86% from the line, so it's just about cash when he goes there. So we move halfway through the first half, and Dartmouth down eight. 26 18, Samuels in the corner. Wade for three, no good. Adelican able to bring that rebound down. Harvard did not break out, so they're right there defensively. Robinson distributes. Samuels creates space, but it didn't go. Great effort overall by the Harvard defense. They're swarming the big green right now. And Kirkwood lost the ball, but they'll say off Dartmouth. Kirkwood being aggressive. He saw space in the open court. He took it. Ball got tipped. Wojcik brings it in. Lesman picked up by Robinson. 26-18. Dartmouth is led by as many as four. Harvard's biggest lead is right here. Eight looking for double digits. And we're going to have a foul on Harvard. Good hustle on the glass, both teams. Harvard moving the ball extremely well. Giving up good shots to get better ones. Unselfish team play. No foul, just off Kale Catchings. 
not a lot of fouls so far in this game. It's got a nice pace to it. Three fouls each way with 9.16 to go in the first half. Wade for the big green. Robinson has Lesman all over him. Samuels to a delicate. Dartmouth looking for well, somewhere good to defense. get it. defense, chested him right up. Wild shot. Well, he had to put it up because he the did. clock was going to expire. He had catchings on the switch and catching was right there contesting him. Torres tried to do the best he could. But overall, another almost shot clock violation. Dar Harvard's defense a little too much for the big green right now. Harvard coming up with a win here the other day. Dartmouth's athletic communications director, Rick Bender, pointing out that coming into today, the home team had won nine of the 12 Ivy games. Harvard getting one of the three road wins so far. That one is good Yeah, he's Lucas Sakota. driver, he's a scorer. All three levels, he's got a pull up game as well as a three. That was a good take to the rim. It's a good start for Dartmouth, but Harvard now up double digits. A delicate, posted high. Dartmouth did some work early on, getting a delicate inside. Samuels misses the three, and the backside rebound for Catchings. Harvard doing it at both ends right now. He's got a guard on him, Kirkwood. He's going to. Good take by away. Samuels. Same play he scored on earlier. Just the third turnover of the game on Harvard. And uh, here, uh, he's a player at Duke, was an assistant at Duke when they won the national championship. Stops at Seton Hall in Michigan, all with winning records. Just an impressive coach, an impressive person. And he can recruit. Harvard here up 10, 28-18. Dartmouth needing some stops and to find some offense early on. This will be catching, good for two, his yeah, first. Dartmouth bucket. is not recovering off their ball screen coverage quick enough. The screener is open and they're using drivers. They just, they drive the close out of the big man on the pass back. Very effective for Harvard. Harvard on a nine nothing run. And that'll stop with a first field goal for sophomore Isaiah Robinson. Yeah, it, was a, it was a good shot, but again, that was contested. There was a hand right there by Lesman. Harvard playing impressive on both ends of the court right now. They're really moving it offensively, getting what they want. Robinson's made nine out of 17 threes this year. It doesn't take many, but he is above 50%. We have a couple threes from Cornish now, one from Robinson. Sakota is blocked by Wade and oh. still able to get the ball in. Good one on one defense, but Sakota had stick to itiveness. He stayed right with the play, got the putback. 6.25 to go in the first half. Barry had a screen from Krastoyak for the big green. Cornish, Robinson, and Wade out there. Cornish trying to feed it yeah, low. Wojcik hit the read body it. of Wojcik. Wojcik. Ball got a little sticky that time. Was in one person's hands a little too much. Harvard's moving it. Well, Sakota was going to take catchings. That. They want it. Back around to Kirkwood. 49 points in the game. They get the look from Lesman, and on the way, no good spins out. Yeah, Wade with a rebound. Great skip pass by Kirkwood. It got there in no time. Dartmouth was in help defense. Lesman wide open. Doesn't go for Cornish. Kristoyak had a hand on it, but Lesman takes it away. Harvard will bring it up here. They are 12 of 18 shooting in the game, 66.7%. Dartmouth has shot 50%, but they're down 11. And now took more. Time. Took as time. as anybody, though. They have probably more people out than any program in the Ivy League. They just have recruited so well, they have people to replace them. I have six scratches for Harvard on my game sheet tonight. Kristoyak, and that includes Chris Ledlam, the junior from Brooklyn, New York, 17 points a game, and there's another bucket. Yeah, that was a breakdown. Isaiah Robinson getting another three-point field goal for the Big Green, 34-24. So we approach the final segment of the first half.
Sakota, design play, Hemmings no, but he'll be fouled inside and get to the line. Yeah, Hemming back up five was very aggressive on that play. Good hard roll down to the rim. Missed the initial one, but got the put back. Team's getting one day to prepare for today's game. That means we'll get another one. I don't know if he wants another one. And dips the legs and that didn't go either. Yeah. He's just won a six. He overcompensated a little bit. Corners back in the game for the big green. Good and out play. to him for three. Wide open. Good play by Barry. Drew the help. Pass to the open player, which was Cornish. Wide open. Back the other way is Nelson <laughs> for the Crimson. Harvard leads 34-24. Noah Kirkwood having a big game for Harvard. And what do we got? Going to be a foul on Dartmouth. Yeah, they were both battling pretty good. Must have used his hands. The second quick foul on Cam Krastoyak. Next foul put Arvid to the line. Off the inbounds. Can't happen. Total letdown. Louis Lesman with a catch, basket, and a Dartmouth foul. He's got a height advantage, but you have to keep playing. Should have had elbow in the chest, high hand up. Pressure on the passer. Can't take breaks. And the first year player from Paris, France. Chance to add to his total. And uh, he's got a dozen points already. And it's 37-24 Harvard. I can't even imagine him in three years from now. Barry for three, no good. He's dying to get a look. Silverstein with a rebound. Far side Silverstein, defended by Aaron Rye. Who's minutes down here in the first half. Not in foul trouble, pass inside, catch made, no good for Hemmings. Hemmings tries again, no good, out of bounds, and it'll be Dartmouth ball. All right, inbounds play will come from Rye with Dartmouth trailing 37 to 24. Brendan Barry, Torres Samuels, Wes Slackert, and Nate Ogbu on the floor here off the timeout will be Nate's first action of the night, 33. As aggressive as Harvard's played, they've only committed three fouls in this half. They've only turned it over three times as well. It's been a uh, good sign for Harvard all year. Here's Rye. Battling strong inside, and yeah, he got the finish. Just overpowered Sakota. Just overpowered him. Spin dribble right through him. Good finish, good set play out of the timeout. Rye averages a dozen a game. The fifth year senior out of Markham, Ontario. As Harvard sets to the offense, got the screen. Lesman no good, back tapped on the rebound. Credit for catchings on that. And Harvard will set it up again with the reset clock at 20. Right side, Sakota fall away, no good, yeah, rebound. Yeah, just one on one, one on one basketball. He took Barry. But uh, Wes Slacker who had the ball underneath Little trouble with the ball, and the foot caught the end line right in front of referee Brian Zink. So it'll be Harvard ball here. Last time they get caught in an out of bounds play, Slackett won't let it happen again. Wojcik far side for Lesman. Harvard trying to get their 10th win of the year. The feed is to catchings against Ogbu. And he stepped on the end line. Yeah, it was a good aggressive move, but he went baseline and wasn't enough room. Stepped on the line. 
So credit the defense there, right, for Nate Ogbu. Absolutely, knowing where the space is, what you have. Dartmouth with a chance to chip away a little bit more. 37-26. Harvard, there's Barry, he's got the shot at the three yeah. and there it is. Yeah. He a created, thousand for Barry. He created some contact. That's a thousand in the Dartmouth uniform. Congrats to the very great, great career he's had here. 37-29. Wojcik's pass intercepted. Ryle take on catchings. He get a second chance at oh, it. Oh no! And Harvard breaks out the other way. That's a two that's points a you left that's on a shame. the table he, he there. He was more concerned with his footwork. I think he was thinking Euro step, step took his eye off the rim. The putback, he didn't have good control over it. Approaching a minute to go. Kirkwood. Maybe got away with the push off yeah, there on did. Rye. They have a bunch of guys who can shoot threes here. And Cornish and Samuels and Barry. Harvard's had a big first half shooting 56%. Ogbu. Back over to Barry and that's a foul on Lesbin, his second personal foul for Harvard. Lesbin, the game's leading scorer with a dozen points. Yeah, they're gonna give him a break. They don't want him to get his third. He's too valuable offensively for him. Silverstein in who can guard basically any position. Very versatile defender. Big green, 40 on the clock. They come back to Samuels. He'll take on Wojcik. Oh, give it up at the end, and Agbu gets fouled. And it'll be on Noah Kirkwood, his first. And it'll be free throws coming for junior Nate Agbu. Good offense. Samuel saw space, took it. Agbu read it, went to the rim. Good feed. Nate. And good result. Has his first point. Average just 1.6 a game this year. 6-7 body. Does, they do rely on him quite a bit defensively and for rebounds. Garrison Wade back over at the scorer's table and that'll be for Ogbu and it's a six point game. 37-31, good finish to the half for Dartmouth. They've scored seven straight. Yeah, now Dartmouth's put, gonna match up to Harvard and play without a true center. So they'll probably be doing a lot more switching than they've been doing. Harvard can't run the clock out here. Three second, four seconds differential between shot clock and game clock. They can use a lot of it though. There's Wojcik, freshman from Charleston, South Carolina. Looking up at the clock, we're down to 10. Now Kirkwood with the ball with five. Kirkwood came into the lane, still able to finish. Had a little trouble Good. with the ball inside. Steal by Harvard, that will, might have counted. Critical. Um, for them to stay around right now, make a stand defensively, get some stops and scores, um, really be aggressive offensively and defensively, and, and get off to a good start. Kirkwood comes underneath, and it'll be a Dartmouth foul right off the bat here. Now, Wade is as big as Kirkwood, but Kirkwood's experienced, and he was a rookie of the year for a reason. He was a first team all Ivy as a sophomore, and he's as good a player as there is in the Ivy League. And he went to the rim hard and knew what he was doing with up faking and drawing the foul. Game high 13 for Noah Kirkwood in the first half. First free throw is good. Preseason all Ivy, no surprise there. The 28 in the win over Columbia on Saturday, Harvard 91 and the Lions 82. Harvard 41-31. I'm sure Dartmouth has a scripted play here as well. We'll see what it is. Harvard's worked. Rye back to the basket. Comes back to Samuels. Opening the second half, that's Garrison Wade, Demi Adelikin, Brendan Barry. 
Demi with the ball, and he'll get to the line. He didn't finish it, but a nice play. Yeah, good aggressive play. Wade didn't have anybody to pass it to, so he took it to the rim. It actually ignited the action for the success of the play. That's the third foul on Louis Lesman for Harvard, so we'll see how Tommy Amaker decides to play his freshman here. In fact, they just came over to Brenzik just to confirm that, and the two free throws are good, and now they're just gonna check on who the foul was on. And confirmed it's 41-33. Well, he's the only player in the court in semi-foul trouble with three. Everybody else that play in the max is two. He's an important cog in the Harvard game tonight. Come over to Sakota. Get a nice half, three field goals. Iso Kirkwood again. Working against Wade and shoots over him and knocks it down. Yeah. Two, two possessions, two isos for Kirkwood. Four points. Senior from Ottawa, Ontario. Up to 17 now in the game. The Harvard lead back to 10. Samuels out to Rye. He's not gonna shoot out in that corner very often. They're gonna step back for a three here, no good. Harvard's so aggressive though. Wojcik wouldn't give in, he flew by him. Finally, Rye got the look. Sakota feeds Lesmond here. They had a screen for him, but picked up by a delicate at the top. Halfway through the shot clock, and that's blocked. Yeah, that was ill-advised. That was going left right into the defender. This one on the way, no good. Shot taken by Kirkwood as the shot clock was running down. Samuels good all take. the way. Good take, not great defensive transition by a World Goats Harvard team, but a good take by Torres Samuels. So it looked like Harvard was gonna score at one end and instead they didn't, Dartmouth comes back. This is catchings for three. You know, Adelican was there, but most of the time the defensive five man does not have to play an opposing five that far out. Catching is unlike most centers. He's undersized, but he can do a lot of things. Rye, they got the open guy. Wide open. No good for Wade, rebound Wojcik. And Harvard leading by 11, brings it up here into the front court. Gonna try catchings again for three. It rattled out on him. Back the other way comes Samuels for Dartmouth. Inside, catch made, Adelican is fouled. Foul B on catchings. Sam Silverstein for Louis Lesmond. Adelican gets another try. Oh, good. Stayed good with take. it. Co-leading score on the big green now. Adelican up to eight. Catchings. Hey, boy, he's he got the stroke it. now. Made two out of three. Samuels. Far side, this is Rye, drives, no good. Oh, gotta finish that. That's too bad. Catching's made two in a row. He comes from a basketball family. His grandfather, Harvey, had an 11 year NBA career. His aunt, Tamika, has four gold medals and was MVP of the WNBA, as well as a world champion. That is pedigree for sure. 49-37, Harvard by a dozen. Couple substitutions here for the Big Green. Get our first look at uh, Dushan Neshkovich, number three for the Big Green. Nate Ogbu in as well. And it's a Harvard foul inside. No. Sakota. Neshkovich grew up in Banka Luka and, um, and it was the same uh, hometown as Vidadas Monovich. Um, when Vidad played here for Dartmouth. So be Cornish. 
Uh, Boo Barry has just the one field goal so far. Wide Cornish open. for three. Oh. They've had three naked looks. Nothing's gone down. They need him right now. Try to just That's match the Harvard hat. Whoa. It was close. Yeah. See if we can watch it here. I, I'm not sure that Cornish was completely. Yeah. He was moving, but the offensive play had definitely created the contact. Second foul on Ryan Cornish went down hard. He'll stay in the game. Go deep to Kirkwood out here near midcourt. Harvard four minutes into the second half, playing with a dozen point lead here. Dartmouth did cut it to six before the end of the first half. Catchings comes back out to Sakota. Cornish will pick him up, deny him the baseline. Sakota's gonna try and turn over him anyway. Comes up short. Good defense, forced a tough shot. Need more of that. Can they finish at the other end? Samuels to Agbu, the hook. Oh. Yes, good basketball. Samuels draws the defense away. He looks back and then Nate Agbu seals his defender catching, lays it in left-handed. Points yet in his temple numbers a little bit uh, earlier in the season. Yeah, and he's a mock man. You know, he's not a super athlete. He's, um, but he, everybody that knows college basketball knows he's one of the best shooters in the country. So they're on him every second. Sakota and the shot comes up short. Catchings with a rebound. Looks inside, Silverstein. He had Silverstein naked underneath, but just ball slipped out of his hands. It went way too high. See Isaiah Robinson back in number four for the big green, hit a couple of threes. Early on in that first half, Dartmouth down 10. Trying for their fifth win. Cornish contested, three comes up short with Silverstein in his face. Back left side. Silverstein feeds low, Catchings will kick it out. And Catchings will try another three. That looked good too. Just a little bit long. Dartmouth able to clean up on the boards. It's gonna be a three point try that results in free throws for Brendan Barry on the foul by Noah Kirkwood. Kirkwood got him in the face. Second half shooting. Dartmouth at the uh, timeout was three out of seven, but 0 for three from three. Harvard three out of seven, two of five from three. Over to seven of 14, three-point field goals in the game. Brendan three. Barry, one of the best we've ever had in Hanover from the line. In Fairhaven, New Jersey. One more makes it seven. Young backcourt now though with Cornish and Isaiah Robinson. Isaiah yeah, played great in the first half. Barry misses his third one. They got two out of three, 49-41. We'll see Evan Nelson again, a first year player for Harvard, bring the ball into the front court. Index finger extended to call out the play. Harvard has made threes tonight. Playing without a true setter with some guys out with injuries. Kirkwood didn't get that. Took a seat on the ground. Dartmouth will try to push it. And they want a flop call on Kirkwood. Barry, right side over to Rye. Nate Agbu playing the middle here, guarded by the 6'6", Lucas Sakota. Barry back out and a three, no good for Rye. It'll be Dartmouth ball as Agbu We'll get credit for the rebound there on the end line with 13.31 to play in the second half. Dartmouth hanging around, down eight. Kirkwood took a three and hit the floor after the three. The rule is if you fall trying to influence the official, you get a warning. And Dartmouth wanted them to make that call. Come back to Ogbu on the right side. Robinson, this is for two and it comes up short. And a loose ball picked up by Silverstein. Here comes Harvard. Back the other way. 
Barry will pick up Evan Nelson. Cornish got in Kirkwood. They should put Kirkwood in the post. Silverstein on the drive. Comes back looking for Kirkwood. Cornish nearly got it away. The control by the big man from Harvard is turned around with two. Oh, points. he's at Velvet. He's got a soft touch. 19 of the game for Noah Kirkwood. He, and he's Harvard's got a, up 10. He's got a 10-footer. He falls away. makes it a 15-footer. But he has such great touch on the ball. Now here's a whistle. Carl Luciano says it's on Harvard's Evan Nelson. A few more whistles here in the second half. Harvard up to five already in the second half. Dartmouth at three. But Dartmouth has not really made a dent, right? They were down eight at the half. No, the time, the time may be now. Kirkwood just went to the bench. Dushan Neshkovich back into the game for the Big Green. The sophomore from Bosnia and Herzegovina. Here's Cornish. Rattled out. Rebound pulled down by Wojcik. Also back into the game is Lewis Lesman. Nelson no good. Rebound Big Green. Barry behind the back. The feed is to Adelikin. They double team him, so it's Barry out of the corner. No good. And Brendan's made a lot of them. Yeah, the game's picked up in pace, but not in scoring. Barry has 53 pointers. Not known as a shooter. Wojcik's rebound, or the rebound is Cornish on the Wojcik miss. Yeah. Wojcik is a distributor first, not known as a shooter. Barry. Had a helper and a delicate. Neskovic. Tough one by Dusan. Yeah, Neskovic, tough shot. Just got in the game. Pretty deep. And both teams in the Harvard Crimson, nine and five, trying to get a second consecutive league win. Dartmouth, this would be a big one because they'd get back to two and two in the league before they have to play Princeton here on Saturday. Iso, again, playing the guard on him. Samuels right there on Kirkwood. Shot for Nelson, didn't go. Nelson's follow-up blocked yeah. by. Nelson hustled, but went right into the big guy. Delican has a couple of blocks now in the game. Dartmouth up to five block shots in the game tonight. Some of that may be, of course, because Harvard playing without the true center. Delican. We had a good roll with that. Yeah, he made a good move. Kirkwood was guarding him. Kirkwood didn't want to foul. And right oh, down okay. for the easy bucket, Evan Nelson. That's unlike Dartmouth. And off the steal here. Some contact, Dartmouth gets it away though. Barry, a pull up three. Yeah, that's a good way to get him. Get the steal, get in transition, forget going to the rim, just find the opening and pull the trigger. It's a nine point game. Feed goes to Kirkwood. Back out to Nelson. Foul situation, five on Harvard, three on Dartmouth. Arrow points to Dartmouth. Oh. Kirkwood gets to 21. Is he tough? First team all Ivy. Delican and we're get a foul on Harvard's Sam Silverstein, and that should bring us to another break yes. here in Hanover. Silverstein's playing a five-man. Dartmouth clearly has an advantage. Timeout, 55-44. 16.7 a game, and he's out. So Kirkwood is definitely knows he has to do more. And he has tonight. Samuel's trying to bring it in. Okay, beats the five seconds. Garrison Wade. Up top for Dartmouth, this is Samuels, Ogbu, Barry, and Wes Slacker on the floor right here. And uh, Samuels went up with it, and that's off Harvard. They say it was tipped. Six, but six on the clock, right? Yeah, six on the clock. Coach, of, when we were talking about it during the break, also pointed out Noah Kirkwood has five assists in the game for Harvard. And Dartmouth... Didn't get the shot off. 
No frustration there from Coach McLaughlin. Yeah, they need shots every single time. They need good shots as quickly as possible. And here come the Crimson the other way with Wojcik. Get him, Wojcik. They got and Kirkwood on a foul screening opportunity. He's up to three now. A little bit of a concern for Tommy Amaker. There's just 9.21 left. Yeah, they were trying to ISO him on the right side. He screened first and got called for the foul screening action. And that's now seven fouls on the Crimson. So Dartmouth, a good free throw shooting team, will be at the line the rest of the game. They shoot 76.4% as a team. And they'll bring Wade into the lane, but didn't take it to the hole. 10 seconds on the clock. Wade flips it up, offensive foul. Three on Garrison Wade, first Dartmouth player with three. Dakota picked it up. Saw the drive, was waiting for him. He's read it perfectly. 8.55 to go here. Kirkwood getting another break. And back in for the big green will be Isaiah Robinson. Catchings for Harvard. Dartmouth leads. The all-time series with Harvard. It's close, 97-93. This is Dartmouth's 900th Ivy League game. Catchings. Lesman beats Catchings inside, gets uh, arm locked with Isaiah Robinson. They're gonna call that on Isaiah. This is Dartmouth's 900th Ivy League game all time, but it's Harvard's 899. They, they, they had one more game postponed this year than Dartmouth. Oh, okay. That they'll make up. Wojcik distributes, catchings with the left hand. It rolls oh, over the foul. back iron. Yeah. Energy play, but committed the foul. So Catchings now with his second foul. He's a co-captain on this team. Yeah, not a good foul. You're up 11 points. You missed the layup. Okay, go back and play defense. Pursued the ball, clearly hit him, and now Dartmouth's got a chance to add two points to the score. Down 11, it was 39-31 Harvard at halftime. First is good. Second one on the way. Again, Dartmouth's gonna shoot the rest of the game. They're 10 out of 11 well from the line. Well done by Nate. Back to a nine point game, but you need stops. You gotta get stops. Now's the time, Kirkwood's still on the bench. Bring it across safely. Wojcik has Lesmond on the right side. Sakota comes hard into the lane up and- Oh, he went hard and he got met by high contact. Good defensive play by the Lakeham. Samuels off the Barry pass, oh, no good. That place would have erupted. Naked on the side in transition after a good defensive stand. See if Dartmouth can get another one. Lesman comes back to the top. Catchings taking on a delegate, kicked it through, out of bounds. Last touch by the Big Green with 14 on the clock. Now bring us to university. So he's here as a proud father. No question about that. Dave McLaughlin has a daughter, Sydney, who plays basketball here at Hanover High, and uh, he had a chance to see her play during the, uh, the break. She had 13 at the half the other day. This one up on the way, no good by Silverstein. And Dartmouth's gonna get the stop. Uh, they let it go inside, catch it. Taurus Samuels, another opportunity they for let Dartmouth. It, they let it go at that end as well. Yep. Kirkwood going back to the table. They're not the same offensive team with Kirkwood on the bench, obviously. But Harvard has, has managed to survive that. Dartmouth's defense. 
Wojcik. Wojcik, so we mentioned his father's name and he goes to the rim and lays it in. 57-46. Again, hasn't been asked to do a whole lot of scoring for Harvard. No, but he's a true facilitator though and he really defends. Simpson lead is 11. Barry unable to cut into that with his shot and as a Delican comes down with a rebound, he is fouled. That'll also be a one and one. Fifty-seven forty-six. Maybe a little surprise. Harvard is plus ten in the rebounds in this game. Thirty-two to twenty-two. Yeah, well, Dartmouth missed more shots too, so that impacts the rebounding. Game a team high nine. Coming off of a couple of big rebounding efforts for the Big Green. Yeah, Dartmouth's not known as a strong offensive rebounding team either. But Harvard does have eight, and, and Dartmouth only three, so that's five extra possessions that, that Harvard has. So it's a nine-point Harvard lead with a little under six and a half to go. Wojcik working against Cornish. Silverstein off the pass from Lesman, and now Kirkwood around to set it up again, and Harvard's deep in the clock here. We're down to uh, they're six, gonna let him five. Go. They're gonna let him go, late shot clock. Kirkwood a pull up. Good defense. Rye got out on him, good defender. Barry, Sakota's got him. And Barry lost the ball yeah. there, tried to tap it to Delican. Turnover at an inopportune time. But the same Harvard offense that had no. Kirkwood taking it out. Samuels will pick up Wojcik. Harvard of five and a half to go with a nine point lead. Dartmouth's just been unable to cut into it. Well, I got a hand on it, will force it out. Yeah. See Isaiah Robinson back in for Taurus Samuels. Good physical defense by Rye. Shot clock 14 on the inbound. Here's Wojcik. Kirkwood comes back to Lesmond. Got a big first half with a dozen points. Hasn't scored here in the second. Sakota beats the buzzer, that's, but the shot no good. That's two shot clock violations in a row by the Harvard offense. As Barry brings it back the other way. Robinson to Cornish. You have three-point shooters around the outside for the big green. Nothing there for Robinson. Barry to Cornish for three. A little long. Did suffer a, a little bit of an ankle injury early on tonight, and uh, Cornish has kind of struggled a little bit offensively. Has made a couple of three-pointers, but on seven tries. Lesman... Back here, Silverstein, a collision with Cornish, and that's an offensive foul. Dartmouth really coming alive defensively. Much more intensity, much more active, and Harvard having a lot more difficulty. It also was the 10th foul on Harvard, which means any fouls at this end, uh, Big Green will get a couple of free throws, down nine. This club needs a, needs a three. Cornish go all the way in oh, and it'll be at one. one. Good read of the play, huh? Yeah, he, they, they, I don't know how they created the space, but it was obviously there and he read it. And then he went in and he went in strong, but he hesitated a little, kept his body in the ball away, worked hard for the three point play and now has the opportunity. Kale Catchings back on the floor for Harvard 24. I'm trying to figure out the lack of minutes for Aaron Rye because he's not in foul trouble. And he's only played 17 minutes. All right, Cornish makes that, completes the three-point play. They needed three, they got three. 
And the game is down to six again. Now this is where Dartmouth was kind of late in the first half. Harvard would hit a bucket that gave them an eight point halftime lead. And Dartmouth really has not been any closer here in the second half than this six point margin. Kirkwood, catching, a lot of passes for Harvard. They've gone deep into the clock. Back to Sakota, contested three. Everything, they're just getting pushed out. Lesmond cannot get a shot off. And a Delican with it for Dartmouth. Cornish feeds Dame. Robinson good, drive, good take. Good team basketball. Good move by Isaiah Robinson. Hard cut to the rim. Adelaide found him. 3.23 to go. It's a four point game. Kirkwood over to Catchings. Kirkwood. This is for three. Oh, got it. In rhythm. Looked like he might have shuffled his feet. Either that or it was a heck of a fake early. Offensive foul. You know. Dave McLaughlin saying it was the same foul that was down here on Cornish. Here's the play coach. There's Robinson. I yeah. couldn't tell, that left arm pushed out is probably a charge, but he clearly, the defender was not in good position. Well, could have gone either way and it went against Dartmouth. A turnover with the big green down seven. They'll need a stop here. Coach McLaughlin's argument was the same thing happened to Cornish down here. It was a 50-50 call and it went Harvard's way. So now two 50-50 charge opportunities both go to Harvard's way. That's what Dave was complaining about. So the officials are well aware of that now. <laughs> so are you suggesting a makeup call soon? Well, we'll see. Here's Nelson comes back to Kirkwood. Kirkwood 24 to lead Harvard. Six on the clock, lost the ball. Oh, right, picked it. Possession arrow is Dartmouth if the big ring can get it. It would have been a shot, it is a shot clock violation anyway. So it'll be Dartmouth ball, 2.31 to go. Got some moisture on the court that they want to clean up. Ryan did a great job defending Kirkwood on that. Kirkwood gave a couple of hesitations, tried to cross over. Ryan picked it. Harvard had a great shooting first half. Not so much in the second half, they're eight out of 26. Dartmouth six out of 21, just 29%. Robinson, no, and as, uh, Adelican came down with the board. Yeah, gets fouled catch, by catch catching had to foul him. Catching not happy. Adelican got position for the rebound. Well, you know what? When we watch these last few games, Dave Adelican is becoming a force in this league on the boards. He's a rebounding machine, yeah. and he's very, very aggressive. He puts his nose right to the rim. And those are big. Half of Adelican's. Six rebounds are offensive rebounds tonight. Got it to five with this one. Got them both. Dartmouth 15 out of 16 from the line. 60-55. Dartmouth will offer some pressure. Now Robinson drops back. 2.12 to go. Harvard's been running a lot of clock deep in. Dartmouth defensively has held a team that scored over, they scored 91 the other night to just 60 tonight. Jumper, no good. Boy, that would have been catching over defense. the back. Come back the other way. Here's Rye back for Cornish. They're playing good help defense on Kirkwood. Oh, not now. They called a kick on the Harvard defense. Big Green will inbound it with 22 on the clock. Right, Ryan brings it in, a Delican picked up by Catchings. 
You have Silverstein, Aaron Robinson, Barry a three. No. Cornish back to Barry, and what do we got? Cornish fouled out here on the rebounding action by Noah Kirkwood, who has his fourth foul for Harvard. Oh, that's big. Four for Kirkwood. Going to the line in a five-point game for two shots. They're up to 10 personal fouls. Two shots for a good foul shooter. Would make it a one-possession game. A dozen for freshman Ryan Cornish. He averages 7.9 per game. Dartmouth within three. 60-57. Pressure comes in the backcourt. Good job by Wojcik to get through. Down to a minute 25 to go. Dartmouth has committed six fouls, so if they foul, Harvard goes to the line. I think it's, I think it's a little premature to be delaying the game. Crimson really has spread the floor out. Kirkwood into a three-pointer, and that's off the mark. Rebound, a delicate. And it comes with one minute and three seconds to go. Barry for three points and a tie. Nope. Rye with an offensive rebound, no. Rye again underneath and blocked. The loose ball is brought in by Wojcik. Good effort, bad result. Good effort on the glass by Aaron Rye. Good looks by Brendan Barry as well. They don't have to foul, they'll get a possession. They want to stop. They chose not to foul, they want to stop. Kirkwood, he's been the man. Distributes behind, catchings into a three-pointer, no good. Dartmouth a lot Dartmouth of chance Dartmouth got what here. they wanted. Cornish for three, way off the mark. A Plenty delicate. of time to get a good one. Now time has a long play here and they go for it. Ten seconds left. Harvard the foul. in. There's the foul. Samuels will foul Luke Sakota. Still plenty of time. 7.8 to go. Sakota a 76.9% free throw shooter. But 20 of 26. It's only a one and one. Not ready for two yet. Harvard six for eight from the line in the game. Dartmouth 17 out of 18. This first one is huge. And no good. Down one. A two to win it. Dartmouth on the gallop. Rye. Down the lane. No oh. good. 